All right, going to be taking a look at ICNB 0178. Uh, the last time that we went over this one was a while ago. We took a little bit of a spring break here. Uh, coming back nice and strong here. Uh, take a look at these stocks. And this is one that I was following a lot before. You guys know that. Look at uh, all the times that we've covered this. <laughs> it's a list. But remember, we also started covering this stock way down here before you even made moves and before you even knew about it. So that's why I always encourage you guys to participate over here on investorshangout.com forward slash live. That being said, uh, again, the last time that we went over this one, it's going to put you guys right there. I said, we'll need to break 10 day simple moving average 00152 to turn around, in my opinion. Support at 0124 is a must hold support. And the following day, you guys did it. Got right through that 10 day, broke through the 20 day, and now you guys are right there between the two. Look at how close that thing's getting between there now. So uh, zooming in a little bit. Here we go. Going to zoom in right here. And now you see this candle. Not too sure which way it wants to go. Uh, it's going to definitely need to hold that 20-day simple moving average. But most importantly, look at the volume has been picking up here. I mean, ICNB, I really popular stock. It just you know took, took some time off, took a break there. Now it's turning around. I like to see that this volume is starting to pick up again, which is also a really good sign. I mean, you guys are at 3.87 million shares traded on the 29th and tripled in volume, doubled and tripled, almost quadrupled in volume the last few trading sessions. So watch this thing starting to turn around, in my opinion. Uh, what we're going to be watching for as the charting goes is going to be breaking that 30-day simple moving average. You guys break that 30-day simple moving average. It's getting close. I think that the stock is actually setting up again uh, as well. I'm just trying to get my lines up here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do is watch for a break of 0.184. A close of 0184 within the next day or two will be extremely bullish, and I like the way that this one's setting up. So I'm going to pass this off to Joe here. There's a little bit of information I'm going, to need, I'm going to need to put into this to give you guys a better understanding. All right, so they had a press release on March 31st. It was Iconic Brands, ICNB News. It was Iconic Brands Incorporated is pleased to announce several corporate updates. The company's financial report will be released within the next 15 days. So that was on March 31st, so you figure in the next like 10 days. Uh, further, the company has interviewed several auditing firms and will be engaging a firm to do a complete audit to regain full reporting status. The audit is expected to be complete late Q2, early Q3. Let's see. Uh, all right. Additionally, the company will be engaging a registered investment banking firm to advise on mergers, acquisitions, and financing. The company looks for this to be finalized over the next two weeks. Further, the company is in final stage of settling with our debt holders. The previously announced arrangements has not been executed as the company is continuing to negotiate terms in the best interest of the company and for the success of our brands. The company appreciates our debt holders' professionalism through periods of difficult negotiations. Iconic hopes to have this resolution finalized and announced in the near future. Are on the brand front, demand continues to be extraordinary. For the Bellissima line of Prosecco, the company has recently received our first order from additional key markets, including Ohio, Oklahoma, Kentucky, and all four jurisdictions of Tennessee. In California, the company has made a strategic decision based on timing and terms to go from our previously announced and anticipated distribution deal with Young's to an agreement with the Henry Wine Group, a division of Winebow. So that, that's our website is winebowgroup.com. This expands the strategic distribution partnership with Winebro. The company is excited to be working with the wine group in the California market. Shipping to our customers in California has been a top agenda. For the company and the patience and loyalty of our customers and retail partners is appreciated. While we conclude this distribution agreement, Bellissima's retail partners, BevMo, is in a league of its own. And the addition of Aeron Organic Markets gives us the best of everything in the very important market, in this very important market. The company also has been gearing up for a push into the Hamptons. This year it is expected that Bellissima will be the talk of the town, and the company is excited for the Hampton set to discover and enjoy Bellissima. Also, due to numerous injuries, the company would like to clarify the relationship with our import company. 
United Spirits Incorporated. This is a standard distribution agreement whereby United Spirits contractually receives one one dollar U.S. dollar per uh, gross per case sale as a handling and service fee. This is the extent of the financial benefit to United Spirits Incorporated. So Mr. Richard D. DeSico, CEO, stated, we've been working around the clock to build the company's brand portfolio. My enthusiasm remains at an all-time high. As we continue to grow, I will look to bolster infrastructure and begin the building of our sales team. The progression of a startup to a national brand is well underway. I am also looking at diligently towards the international markets as inquiries increase daily. I want to personally thank our shareholders for their support. So um, look for corporate website. Wait, look for the corporate website to be live this weekend. So obviously, I'm guessing their, their corporate website should be live right about now. And that is www.iconicbrandsusa.com. And that is pretty much it. That's uh, the latest press release that's from uh, Iconic Brands. And if you have an opinion, just go right over to that ICNB board on Investors Hangout and share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have used on the site daily. All right, like Joe said, the company profile, time and sales, recent news and filings and financials completely free here on Investors Hangout. So why pay others when you can get it completely free uh, along with unlimited posts and unlimited messages from user to user? Like I said, completely free. Time and sales is a great tool also free where you can see the time price and volume for each trade so if you uh don't watch level two all day whatever the case might be and you come home and want to review the day of trades you can do so over here on investors hangout again with the chart uh watch uh let me add in the price here really quick 0 0.0178 so i have that All right, so point zero one seven eight watch chart is setting up here nicely, in my opinion. We'll need to break zero one eight three and we'll move much higher. Resistance at zero one eight zero zero two, support at zero one six six. We'll need to hold to remain bullish. You guys are at that tipping point. Which way are you gonna go? Up or down? Get that buying pressure, make you through that thirty day, and you will uh, climb up much higher, in my personal opinion. I C M B. If you follow this one, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And get out there and share this video with all others on different social networks and different message boards and forums and uh, get the word out there into research. We'd appreciate it. If you have a hot sock you're following that you'd like to see us do a video on, let us know over at investorshangout.com forward slash live.